Yeah, good evening. Welcome to Made to Measure, this uh, panel that takes its cue from the work of two artists that are participating in this year's festival program, namely Revital Cohen and Tuofan Balen. And um, this is a cooperation that Transmedial is doing together with the, the Shearing Stiftung. And the works that are on display is on the one side 75 watts here in the time and motion exhibition and on the other hand there is also the whole uh, solar exhibition assemble standard minimal at the Schering Stiftung at Unter den Linden. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time, I'm going to introduce Jens who is the moderator of the session. Um, I want to mention uh, just offer one reflection on, on one of the works uh, sterile in the product room at the Schering Stiftung. Uh, there is um, a work that you will learn more about, but it features a goldfish that, uh, a sterile goldfish and a machine, or several sterile goldfish and a machine that pr potentially could mass produce this new breed of sterile goldfish. And it tells already something about the topic of this discussion here tonight, that it's about the ongoing conflation between uh, the notion of organism and of organization, and what that means also to the overall discussion about the standardization, automation of life itself today. So, um, the moderator of that topic, together with the different speakers here, will be Jens Hauser, who is also the curator that has put the project together with the artists. Um, Jens uh, is a researcher that um, has focused a lot in his work on relation between art and technology and biological sciences, but he also has a broad research interest in topics of uh, well, media art, but also performance studies, even game studies, actually. Um, and he is currently based both in Copenhagen and in, yeah, where's your second home base? I now forget. Uh, in Paris, of course. Uh, and he's a postdoc researcher at the Department of Arts and Cultural Studies of Copenhagen University and the Copenhagen Medical uh, Museum as well. Uh, he's an affiliated faculty member of the Department of Art, Art History and Design at the Michigan State University. And before I give him now the word, I'd like again to thank the Schering Stiftung for this great collaboration that we're doing again uh, uh, this year for the festival and specifically to the Director of Arts and Culture, Heike Mertens, who facilitated the collaboration. And there she is. Yes, great. Um, okay, so Jens, the word is yours. Welcome to all the panelists and to you. And yeah, enjoy Made to Measure. Thank you, Christopher, for... Thanks for welcoming us here again to this festival Transmediale, very hot spot every year. And um, you have probably recognized that we have a kind of uh, lack in gender balance, right? And um, this was not really what was planned. I mean, there was initially a plan to have at least three women with us here. It's just that the male accepted from the female didn't. And But it came to kind of situation when you talk about reproduction and outsourcing reproduction who may not be the most um, competent uh, in all points. Um, well, just to have this uh, as an insight, it was planned to have gender balance, right? Um, but we have uh, on this panel today, uh, Thür van Berlin, uh, the artist mentioned uh, previously, um, uh, together with Revital Cohen, who unfortunately couldn't come herself because she's preparing the next exhibition in Vienna. Then we have indeed uh, Paul Feigelfeld here from the University of Lüneburg. And we also have uh, Tobias Chong, who is a professor of the history of knowledge and culture at the Humboldt Universität. So we have a kind of interesting panel. And um, uh, I would like just to start off with a video. Can you play this video?
So this is evidently, that is not the artwork. Uh, can you just move to the next? Um, but it was the main inspiration maybe, or one of the inspirations. This is a salmon vaccination machine, as you see. It's feeding and singulating the fish, which is fully automated, and the system sorts the fish according to weight classes and sends it to the anesthetizing and buffer tank, and then a single operator can vaccinate up to 20,000 fish per hour. But in fact, this is an inspiration for the work of uh, Tour van Berlin and Revita Cohen. The machine very much seems to have lifelike features and in what cybernetic discourse since the 60s has been increasingly addressed as machinic life, technological objects have become so complex that themselves they seem to be alive, while the fish here are rather raw material. And on the other hand, today we have living machines that are literally alive, that are objectified, technologized just to carry out machine functions. So we can understand well that this has been one of the inspiration for the artwork by Revital Cohen and Thür van Balen, which are currently exhibited at the Schering Stiftung Foundation Unter den Linden in the exhibition entitled Assemble Standard Minimal as a partner event of Transmediala. So Assemble Standard minimal, already the title of the exhibition evokes machine-like language, uh, commands, industrial mass production, uh, also rudimentary pidgin English, it's not really correct English, that one may find in this not always totally comprehensive Asian user manual circulating in our globalized eco economy. And the consequences of mechanization, automation and standardization of all areas of life, from the very microscopic molecular to the macroscopic ecological scale, find their material equivalent in the artwork and the interventions, installations and documentations in Cohen's and Tour von Balen's work. That means gallery organisms that are manipulated in the name of art, production devices connected in a somehow absurd ways or performative interventions into real factory processes. So on this panel we want to examine the fact that when we are measuring living systems, this is rarely a name in itself, that it most often goes hand in hand with organisms made to measure, right? And so we have a double sense here in the very title of the panel that is made to measure. Um, made to measure um, objects, entities or processes that are constructed according to a concrete plan, made according to previous measurements, but on the other hand also living entities like model organisms, biosensing biological entities, which beyond their own agency are only constructed in order to measure or sense something, that their exclusive raison d'etre is measuring or production of substances that are useful to others and not to themselves. And it is now against this background that we may view these works staged by Revital Cohen and Thür van Balen in sterile, for example, which is the fish here. It's a Dalbino goldfish produced in a Japanese biologist lab where they were injected uh, during the gestation stage with so-called morpholinos, which are synthetic nucleic acid molecules that knock down the genes that code for gonad development. And in keeping here with the design doctrine to remove unnecessary details, reproduction, the morpholinos eliminate the ability to reproduce, just as we could also say that the major seed companies, such as Monsanto, make sure that the seeds of their patented crops have to be bought anew every year again. So here, in a certain way, reproduction is delegated to the machine called Sensei Ichigo. You will probably explain the title. Uh, the machine makes it possible to hatch a sterile fish from previously extracted eggs and sperm on demand and deliver them via an assembly line, at least potentially, because the machine is deliberately kept in standby mode, thus embodying the very question of whether we want or need to accept technologies merely because they have been brought into the realm of the possible. So these works are, as it were, about outsourcing of reproduction of an art fish to an art machine, which the artists have both commissioned and constructed. 
Um, meanwhile, as a side uh, story, I mean, we know that in real science, mackerel is currently engineered in Japanese lab to spawn tuna, right? So while X cells of female employees in Silicon Valley are frozen in social freezing to be with a view to future reproduction, and we can ask maybe in terms of media studies, will the eye cell then follow the iPad and the iPod? In this other performative installation here that you can see on the ground floor, 75 watt, it's about an object, an absurd object made in China whose only purpose is to transform the worker's gestures into a dance choreography. It can also be understood as a subversive inversion of our belief in linear progress. Sort of and the last work that is also at stage at the exhibition is called Pigeon d'Or that has been a project to design or to reprogram feral pigeons, so the very animals commonly considered as flying rats, to defecate soap. And there's much recent fascination which the so-called uh, biobricks in art circuits uh, in microorganisms taking their cue from electronic engineering and this pa particular project, not without irony, seeks to alter pigeons naturally occurring intestinal bacteria and Tua will pro of course explain how this even technically functions. Um, yeah, there's constructions also that they could land directly on the windscreen and to shit your windscreen <coughs> clean. Um, today in the context of artistic practice we have these kind of art and biotechnology workshops one of the first of which was this in 2005, organized by the Arts Catalyst together with Symbiotica. And we have some very interesting people here that are not necessarily connected to this field, such as Wim Delvoix, Franco B, uh, Brandon Ballonger, and so on, or in Katz, of course, the organizer of the workshop, in which, in which uh, in, within a week, artists learn how uh, to do genetic engineering, cell and tissue culture, uh, gel electrophoresis or how to make a sterile hood for $10 out of a vacuum cleaner and a hamster cage. And uh, Tür and Revital also followed at one stage this uh, workshops and this is also maybe an interesting connection when it comes to s looking at their work. Um, yeah, that brings us also to another question we want to articulate here in this panel is that um, we need to extend maybe our understanding of what media are today as the use of technologies, of biotechnologies in art paves the way for seeing them as media in a larger sense. Deriving from the long-standing tradition and origin of the term media in physics and biology, by the way, before it became communication media, and biomediality, as I coined it, goes, of course, beyond the digital age dominant understanding of media functions such as transmitting, storing, and processing of information, that would be Friedrich Kittler's definition of it, or audiovisual data, and potentially here in biomedia noble capacities to self-repair, adopt or evolve may be added. So we have, of course, media simply in the sense of milieu, meaning in an enabling condition which solicits changes in living beings or organic entities, that can be tissue culture, but also it can be Media and the sense of means of transformation or generation that shift the ability to transmit store or profits into the biological realm. Making use of living systems, internal mechanisms, not processors, but let's say DNA computing or cell computing prototypes. And then we have much in line with the topics fest, with the festival of uh, the, the, the festival's <coughs> topics, media in the sense of instance of measuring in line with traditional media microscopy and so on, perception analysis, but in which one organic entity is measuring another one. With this in mind, we may then also find not only formal analogies between the fish and the objects here. For me, this brings into play another very uh, traditional uh, and uh, from the 40s already consistent thought by Siegfried Gideon, when in the middle of the 20th century lamented that the mechanization takes command. And here you say, uh, in this very construction of the objects, and Tour will elaborate on this, 
you have a kind of reminiscence of Gilbreth's motion studios from the early 20th century. And this is also something that Gideon put, take, took up when he wrote in the 40s, the uh, Herrschaft der Mechanisierung, or Mechanization Takes Command, seeing catastrophes that threaten to destroy civilization and existence as outward signs that our organism has lost its balance. He showed how since Marais and Gilbert's early motion studios, st uh, standardization, interchangeability, and the hierarchization of parts have been transforming creatures into commodities. So he was interested in capturing the movement, the rendering of organic movement in graphic form, and so on, and how all this mechanization of the living takes command. Um, we have um, interesting the Gilbreth and the Kandinsky on the front pages of uh, uh, Gideon's uh, books. And you also have the industry, the early industry like Rio Murs from 1715s, this early uh, chicken breeding devices, or on the other hand, the mechanization of the slaughterhouse. So death and birth as being the very st uh, strange forward topics to be mechanized. So we will ask in this panel, might this be rooted already in the very notion of organization itself that has been continually helped modern biology to define what is actually an organism, because an organism is that what is organized. So of course we have a kind of anthropocentric relationship to that and we have philosophers here on the sofas that are much more brilliantly prepared than myself to elaborate uh, on this. So while the biological um, science today shift their focus from analysis to synthesis, such as in synthetic biology, the resulting language of engineering focuses less on living beings than on components or living circuits. And this is, I think, the very point to bring Tour van Balen himself into the discussion. So Tour van Balen and Revital Cohen are artists based in London. They have been both um, trained and they have been graduated from the Royal College of Art in 2008 and their work has been uh, drawing since then on tensions between biology and technology, incorporating electronic, mechanical and biological systems to explore the idea of production as cultural, ethical and political process. So please welcome Tour van Balen. Thank you.